This video demonstrates a predictable and reliable method of undertaking the whole technique for placing a preformed stainless steel crown on a deciduous molar. On the screen, you can see a selection of materials and instruments that you may find useful in undertaking this procedure. Gently remove the separators. Assess whether enough space has been created to allow crown placement. Measure the mesiodistal width of the tooth to be crowned. This can be done using a number of measuring devices. A periodontal probe is effective. Also note any occlusal clearance and measure the distance between adjacent tooth contacts. Use these measurements to aid in the selection of the correct sized preformed metal crown. Once you are happy with your crown selection, it is time to try the selected crown over the tooth. For this, the patient should be semi-recumbent or upright. It is imperative that the airway is protected to prevent aspiration of the crown. There are many methods to do this. Two common methods are to place a sheet of gauze in the oral cavity, or alternatively, to affix the crown to your finger with a piece of adhesive tape. This is the method demonstrated in the video. If you are using adhesive tape, it is important to ensure that the patient does not have an allergy to a elastoplast. Try the crown over the tooth. Ensure that the crown fits over the whole occlusal table but does not cover either of the adjacent teeth. Carefully determine the path of insertion. The crown should be able to fit over the point of maximum convexity of the tooth with firm pressure. It is important when trying the crown on the tooth that you do not push the crown beyond this point. Apply enough pressure to observe spring back. If necessary, a crown may require adjustment with a crown forming pliers. This will be demonstrated in your practical. Rehearse the path of insertion. Do this until you are confident that you can undertake this procedure with ease and ensure that the child is comfortable. Load the crown with a glass ionomer looting cement. This should be loaded to at least one third of its capacity. Use a flat plastic to ensure that the internal surface is completely covered by the cement. Place the crown onto the tooth, applying firm pressure. Quickly remove any excess cement. There are two ways to ensure that the crown becomes fully seated. Continue to apply firm pressure with your finger, or alternatively, instruct your patient to bite down firmly on a cotton wool roll placed over the top of the crown. Once the crown has been well seated using either of these methods, ask the patient to open their mouth. Wipe away any excess cement with a cotton wool roll, micro brush, or a piece of gauze. Instruct the patient to bite once more or push down on the crown with your finger again. The crown will seat further. After a further 30 seconds to 1 minute, remove the cotton wool roll and elastoplast. Using a periodontal probe, Ensure that no excess cement is present in the gingival sulcus. Gently floss the contact points to ensure that they are clear of cement. If seated properly, the surrounding gingiva often blanches. Measure the overlap at the canines and record any increase in the occlusal vertical dimension in the notes. Advise a patient that the crown will feel high in the bite, but that this will resolve in approximately two weeks. The crown is likely to be the only point of contact and will have increased the occlusal vertical dimension by approximately two millimeters.